Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Bogey Society, and we are here in Valencia 2013 on the pre-encounter we will be gathering all representatives around the world. Then, in this case, we are studying about Sibaru, an interesting discipline related and concerning the use of ropes in special uh, war situations. Then, in this case, we will be with an enemy that we want to be uh, restrained, want to be uh, get in prison and be, after this, in, in a trial, will be judged. Then, in this case, we will be in a Sunni no Kata. Several samurai, several uh, warriors will be surrounding the enemy, avoiding him the capability to defend, or at least to have conditions to, or to avoid the will of defending in this kind of situation. Several samurai, as I have said, will be getting around with, uh, with the swords uh, drawing out and freeing him in order to avoid him uh, to defend in this situation. As we are talking, there will be several samurai. Then, one or two or several uh, of these samurai will be using uh, will we, uh, in the, with the responsibility to, to restrain with ropes. And in this case, we will be using two people, in this case, Sido Xiao will help me, and he will be using a kochiku, is to say, a small piece of bamboo, of bamboo trunk, in order to perform this kind of technique that is employed under war situation, as we have said before. Then, in this case, we are uh, with the permission of, of Matias San from Paraguay that is helping us in order to show you a small search of what we are studying right now. Then, please, Matias San, can you, for exemplary reasons, to put your face to the wall, please? And in this case, Shidosh uh, Chiao, please come with me. In this case, he will be a starting, he has the rope and he has the kochiku. Then, first of all, I will be uh, as ongapki, that it's the role that uses to, to perform the torite. The torite is the way to, to restrain the enemy before it will be uh, restrained by ropes. Then, in this case, I will employ a specific way to a specific way to restrain that it's employing the torite as I have said. Then in this case I will be going, please appear some only a little to the side. Yes. Thank you. And I will be going, remember, he will be surrounded by warriors with the sword out and he's incapable in the first place to, to go out or to defend. He's very difficult because all then are prepared if he wants to, to, to stop, uh, he could kill easily. Then in this case, I will go by the back and take control of both hands and having control right to the sides of his trunk. Then I go forward and from this position, Tio Xiao will start uh, his, his knot. When he has passed, the kochiku, the bamboo, on the side, is yet preparing the full restric restriction. Then from here, I have conditions to put him down and keep him controlled. He is right now performing the completely knot that will restrain uh, his legs to the kochiku. After a while, he will be ending the knot and when the knot is ended, we will put, in this case, Matias San uh, face down to the ground in order to perform a no yo jutsu. When we are talking about no yo jutsu, please go to the ground. Please, Matias San. On this case, he is completely restrained for first moment. Okay? When we are talking about no yo jutsu, this no it's also uh, pronounced as futa, that means two or both. Uh, jo comes from Nawa, that means rope, and Jutsu is the art of then the art of using two ropes in order to make the restriction. Then from here he has this completely tied to the calf and now we will be employing other rope uh, aiming to come 
to, to make the final control. Then, Sios Chiao will help me in order to restrain himself, avoiding him to use a tanto that could be in the OB, could be uh, managed, and could attack me in, in this kind of situation. Then, his weight, maybe using, for example, uh, we are talking about uh, Sibaru, then we are not caring about uh, the safety of the enemy. We are talking about war situations. Then he could use, for example, uh, his knee over his neck, uh, aiming he to, to smash his face to the ground and applying an, uh, a very painful and damaging control. Then, from now, we will take other rope. This rope won't be uh, prepared. We could start in from here and we'll be, in this case, preparing in order to make the control for the foot, for the feet, sorry. In this case, we pass completely, going to the ankles. On this situation, we have to take control of his ankles, avoiding him to go out. From here, pass from this situation, pass completely, one and two. Now his ankles are restrained. Now it's very important that this space could be completely sorted, because now we will pass the rope over his head. Please, Matias san From here, we have this kind of uh, knot that it's called cosa. Cosa means uh, a cross. Then from here, Sinos Chal is helping me in order to get certain. And from here, we will take out first with one and this two. Restrain firstly the first hand from here. We have conditions to pass to this side, make a restriction, passing again, and going preparing for the second hand that will be over the other from this. Here we have again control, taking care not giving conditions to escape and making a final not here. If we are taking care about the aesthetics, we have here a perfect cosa. We have here firstly the kochiku directly uh, controlled with the backside of the legs of the calves. We have the control here on the ankles with a, a fastened uh, uh, knot here that goes directly to the uh, to the neck and restraining his uh, his breath and here crossing we have both wrists from here we go back to this position giving control and we have here the knot that it could be in a vertical line only splitting in two in twice in this area, in the area of the scapulas and the upper back. Then, from this, we have seen a very interesting knot that it could be applied, as I have said, in war techniques. Thank you very much.